Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we're answering the question, how does autofocus work? When you take a picture with a camera, you want the image to be in focus. Some cameras focus manually, meaning you control what it focuses on. But most modern digital cameras use autofocus to focus on the objects in the picture. But how do they do it? First, let's see how manual focus on a camera works. A camera is a bit like an eye. It's no good if you can't focus on what you're looking at. Your eyes and a camera form an image in the same way. Light coming from a point on an object is focused by the cornea and the lens onto a point on the retina, or in the case of a camera, onto the film or digital sensor. But if the object moves further away, we have a problem. Each point is now focused onto a larger spot. These all overlap, producing a fuzzy image. Your eyes can change the shape of the lens in order to keep the light focusing on the retina. But a camera lens is made out of glass, so it can't just change shape. So in order to focus on the more distant object, the lens needs to be moved. But in order to do this, you need to know exactly how far to move it, which means you need to know how far away the object itself is. You could measure the distance, and in fact in very old manual focus cameras you did have to guess how far away what you wanted to focus on was in order to set the lens in the right place. A rather more accurate way of focusing, rather than just guessing the distance, came from the unlikely place of battleships, and it was developed in the early 20th century. In order to hit an enemy ship with a shell, you need to know how far away to aim. So these battleships had a pair of periscopes about 10 metres apart, which would both produce an image of the enemy ship. If the ship was far away, both periscopes would point almost directly ahead and both see the ship. But if it was close by, the periscopes would have to point inwards to both be able to view the target. How much they had to point in told the distance to the enemy ship, and therefore how far away to aim the shell. So how does this work in a camera? Well, in a manual SLR camera, which are those cameras with a big removable lens on the front, you have pretty much the same setup. Inside the camera there are two mirrors that you can change the orientation of using the focus ring. A display inside the viewfinder allows you to see when the images from the two mirrors line up. Most modern autofocusing SLR cameras use this principle, but instead of moving the mirrors manually, they use two electronic sensors to look at the views from the two mirrors. A computer chip inside the camera then takes the two images from the sensors and compares the pattern of light and dark to find where they overlap and therefore the distance of the object. The computer then tells the focus ring to turn to the right distance, focusing on the object. Making precision moving piece of optics to do this is difficult, so this is quite an expensive way of doing things. So there are other methods that autofocusing cameras can use. One method, common in autofocusing film cameras, was to use ultrasound. The camera sent out a pulse of ultrasound and measured how long it took to come back to the camera to measure the distance, just like using sonar. The problem with this method is that it's not very directional and it can be hard to determine exactly what reflected the sound and therefore exactly what distance to focus on. Most modern compact digital cameras can tell whether they're in focus by analysing the image on the main digital picture sensor and seeing how sharp it is. They then change the focus slightly and see if this makes the image more or less sharp. If it's better, the camera keeps moving the focus in that direction until it starts to get worse again, when it'll come back to the point where the image is most sharp. Of course, not all parts of the scene are the same distance away, so most digital cameras will choose to focus on whatever is in the middle of the image, while some can even detect faces and choose to focus on them. Autofocus is a quicker and easier way of making sure your photos are pin sharp than manual focusing, although manual does give you greater freedom over exactly what to focus on in your picture. But for the millions of people that own a compact digital camera, it's made taking pictures of your friends on a night out or your child at a sports game much easier. That's it for this time. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!